and it never comes. Yes, 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 yes. I want snow in Paris. I want snow in Barcelona. I want snow in New York. I want snow everywhere. It's not that complicated. And I am the fairy of winter. I shouldn't have to repeat myself like that every year. Why is it? Because of autumn who never wants to leave and let me do my job? Whatever, whatever. No, Santa, I don't have anything of yours. Uh, look, I gave you back everything after we broke up. No, I don't have your glasses. No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm gonna have to go because I have... Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my humble lair. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to witness that. It's just that I have been ordering snow for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And it still hasn't come. Well, I know my time hasn't come yet. I'm not an idiot. But... The thing is, you have to order snow quite a lot in advance, otherwise it, you know, it gets delayed, and then spring comes, and then they tell me it's too late, so I I, I like to, you know, prepare for everything and do things in, in advance. But this time, I have everything prepared in case something goes wrong. I decided to make my own snow, so I got these um, they are made of angel wings and they will make perfect snowflakes I have this kind and I have this kind so I think that it will look perfect and then to attach them together in the cloud, I have these. It's um, sort of um, magical lace. Um, I actually bought it in Paris in the late twenties, and then I put some magic powder on it to give it some sort of you know glow and you know eternal everlasting shine and um, yes how do you like it? I mean it's pretty nice you should make really cute snowflakes I think and these will stick they will you know just fall on the ground and stick and then people will be able to ski and snowboard and, you know, do all the wintry things that I love. Now, people are complaining that there's not enough snow, but how am I responsible when I ask for it and it doesn't come? I mean, my power has its limit. So I guess this year I'll have to do everything myself. But anyway. I don't want to bitch about the higher authorities and you know how it is to deal with an possessive and mean and two-faced and hypocrite ex. But I am not here to speak ill of the Santa. Why have you come here? I was told you had some trouble sleeping. Well, you came to the right place because 
as I am the fairy of winter. I am really good at putting things to sleep. Usually, it's not really humans, it's more like um, plants and trees, you know, flowers and everything, and some animals like um, bears and, uh, you know, any any animal that hibernate. But, yeah, so I'm, I'm used to it. I, I do it all the time. All I have to do is do my little spell, do my little magic, and then poof, in like, what? Two seconds, you will be covered in snow and sleeping soundly until spring comes. I was gonna say summer, so I'm not very quite aware of what happens when my time is over, you know. So, how long do you want to sleep for? Two months, three months, just a few weeks? You know, it depends on what you're looking for, you see. The daffodils ask for less sleep than the lilacs, for example, and the orchids, they just sleep forever. So just, yeah, tell me. One night? You can't possibly just have one night's sleep. It's ridiculous. No, 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 no. You need to ask for longer. But first, can I interest you in some hot Oh, actually, I, oh, I also have um, apple cinnamon tea and some, um, how do you call that? It's like hot wine. I can't remember the word in uh, in English. Is it uh, muggle, buckle, something like that? Uh, oh no, mold, m- mold wine? Uh, whatever, you know what I mean. So the hot wine that I make and I put some cinnamon in it and some spices and some orange flavor it's really 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 nice and it can even make you drunk if you drink enough of it but this is hot cocoa hot beverages are sort of my specialty considering it's kind of cold when i come you know i've been sort of like neglected compared to my other sisters, or the other fairies, everyone loved them. It's like, um, look at Autumn, it's so nice when she comes. Everything is all yellow and orange and warm tones and leaves everywhere and it's so pretty. Oh, look at Spring, it's the season of love. Everything mate with everything, you know, it's like, and flower blossoms and all the nice things and then summer is like vacation time and and like sea time and like a um a sun time but me me well i'm i'm simply kind of like heated but i do not agree with that see if we make a quick search on the internet yes i have a smartphone I might live in a secluded area, but I still, you know, I still have the technology of humans who can live without the internet. So see, if I type adjectives that are um, uh, related to winter, to myself, this is what I find. Absolute zero. Arctic. Barren, whatever that means. Below zero. Biting, bitter cold, chilling, chilly, clear, cloudy, cold, crackling, crystalline, this one is okay, dark, depressing, extreme, foggy, freezing, frostbitten, frosty, frozen, glacier, glistening, grey, harsh, ice cold, ice killed, icy, icy, leaf left, long, mil- melting, misty, nippy, nippy as in nipple, polar, pure white, pure white is nice, rainy, relentless, sad, severe, shivering, snowbound, snowed in, snowy, sparkling, wet, wet, cold, white, windy, wintry, wintry, woolen, bare, bleak, blustery, bored, boring, crisp, and I could go on for hours. I mean, it's simply incredible how much people hate winter, when in fact, I am one of the best.
best seasons of them all. I mean, I have Christmas, I have Anuka, I have snow. I know some people don't like snow, but children love it. No, it's true. It's true. Anyway, you, you look cold. Do you want this this blanket? You sure you're okay? You look all blue and... Well, it's probably my fault. Every time people approach me, they will, you know, get... You know, they get the flu, basically. I guess I can sort of understand why people don't like me. But still, as I said, when I come, it means that, well, Christmas is coming as well, and Anuka, and presents, and you get to see your family, and to be with your friends, and to do nice things, so... Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm sort of, you know, well, not anymore, but I was sort of annoyed when they decided to place Jesus' birthday on my birthday because the 25th of December is actually the winter solstice and it was celebrated by pagans for years and years and centuries and centuries but then, you know, they needed the pagan thing to coincide with them the Christmas thing so, yeah, they put it together so now my birthday is kind of overshadowed by God's birthday which is, well, you know, he kind of stole my thunder, but I guess I have to see it. the bright side of things as in, like, at least people, like, are interested in my season, so I guess it's okay, even though I feel bad for everyone who is born on the 25th of December or the 24th, I mean, depending on, like, which one you celebrate, or if you celebrate both, I know it's like a big debate within you humans, anyways. Anyway, my point is, my heart is not as cold as it seems, I'm not as cold as it seems, I'm actually quite warm-hearted, but no one would care about what winter feels. See, I made this little heart, it's blue, like the color of um, of your lips, actually. Are you sure you don't want that blanket? It's pretty, right? I just want my season to remain a season of festivities, of celebration, even if people are not celebrating my birthday per se anymore. I'm okay with sharing. So... Yeah, I just want people to love it when I come around. But you know, whenever people say like winter is coming, they just kind of like piss their pants. Well, okay, fine, that's only in Westeros, but you know what I mean. They just get so afraid they're gonna get like the flu or a source hot or the influenza and things like that. It's ridiculous. You can also feel fall ill during the other seasons. And no one talks about that. When it happens, it's like kind of uncanny and it's never summer's fault or spring's fault. It's like, oh, you're sick? Oh, that's weird. It's like so hot outside. But when you fall sick during the winter, during me, during my season, people are like, well, of course, it's winter, what did you expect? So cold. So yes, I also made this little ornament. Um, it's um, written in French. Joyeux Noël, it means Merry Christmas. See, I can also be supportive of other people's birthday even when they are on my special day. So yeah, I put this little, you know, oh, what is it called in English? Sorry, my English kind of sucks, but what can I say? My first language is fair language after all. 
which I don't speak, so it would be no use speaking it to you. But yes, I'm sorry. You came here for me to um, put you asleep, so I'm gonna take my special wand and maybe put on my glasses so I can see better. Yes, they are my glasses. No, I didn't steal them. Where did you get that idea? They look familiar. Well, I guess they are trendy, that's all. Hmm, fine. Santa has the same glasses. But you know, when we're going out, we're doing this couple thing when you when you get the same outfit and everything. So it was like, it's a, it's a Korean thing. Just look it up. Now. This wand is a magical wand. It will give you any dream that you wish for. If you want to dream about cookies and milk and snow in your back garden and your grandma still alive reading fairy tales to you and little rabbits and donkeys, you are free to dream anything that you want with that one. It's a one that pleases people. No, not that sort of one. Although, I guess it could be that sort of one, but it's not. It is, in fact, magical. And it will send you to Dreamland. So now, let me do my spell. 